I'm going to show you how to download Brackets. Brackets is the application that we're going to be using as the supported editor in this class. And it is a, a free editor that is, I think is a quite good editor. And it's available uh, through the Brackets.io website, which is what I'm on right now. So it's B-R-A-C-K-E-T-S dot I-O. And when you go to that, it does have versions for Mac, uh, Windows, and Linux. I think sometimes the Linux version is a little bit behind the times on some of the features. So just be aware of that um, as, as you're listening to my future demos that talk about settings and features and so forth. Um, but the Brackets is the editor that is currently being developed and supported uh, that's going to later be the foundation for Dreamweaver, for the Adobe Dreamweaver application. So for those of you who continue doing web stuff with design and you later end up using the Dreamweaver program, which is not free, um, then this will be the foundation. It'll feel very familiar and it will uh, behave much in the same way. Let's look at this. So if you go to brackets.io, it will automatically detect uh, if you're on a Mac or PC. <clears throat> and if you're on, if you need to look for a different type of download, you can click on other downloads and it will show you a different uh, set of options. Um, you can either download it with the Extract plugin, which is an Adobe plugin that's free, um, or without the Extract. Either way, I don't really care. You can always add it later if you don't use it now. And the Extract plugin basically is something that will uh, extract images and, and text and things like that out of your PSD files. Um, so you can go ahead and use it, uh, go ahead and download it. I'm going to click on that, um, and you'll see if you're using Chrome, uh, it'll start showing the download down here in your status bar. Um, so if you're using something else, you might have a different type of download manager. But I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to just really quickly show you where I downloaded it. And right now I'm showing you on a Windows, uh, it's Windows 7 example. Um, but you know, you might be on a Mac. It's going to download a Windows file as a .msi file, not as an .exe, but as M .msi. And it's just the same as installing .exe. It's really straightforward. This is what it's going to look like on Windows. It's going to be brackets uh, .1.6.extract if you got the extract version. If you're watching this at, whenever it's a later updated version, it might be a different version number. Um, on, a, on a Mac computer, it's either going to be a file extension of .dmg or .pkg, which is a package file. .dmg is a disk image. Either way, it's a normal installation, very straightforward. You can just double click it. Ah, and see now it's finished downloading here. Uh, so I have two different ones. Uh, and you just double click it, walk through the installer, and when you're done, just move on to the next, uh, the next demonstration. Okay, that's it.